Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna work with Mesh Morpher and the wrapper in Mesh Morpher and we will attempt to wrap uh, a metahuman around another metahuman. Basically morph a full body metahuman to another full body metahuman, right? So uh, we will work with Irene. Uh, we will uh, export Irene full body and we will also work with Hannah, both are metahumans, right? So to export, go to tools, export obj and export mesh as obj and uh, attach the body. We can attach the body, which is half tall, normal weight for, uh, for iron. And now that uh, we selected the body, we press OK and we pick a path. Let me create another folder here. And we have iron full body save and we have to do the same for Hannah we select Hannah and we will export as well add her body uh, for Hannah I think it's F tall overweight yeah press ok and uh, pick the name Anna full body save and now we have to import our uh, Irene uh, skeletal mesh full body and Hannah as well right so we will create a new folder here meta full body and import to game and we will select both obj files we just uh, created right we will uh, create a skeletal mesh but uh, we have to uh, make sure on import rotation we select 90 because uh, we export on a different axis we export minus x and y and we have to on import to rotate automatically rot rotate them right so import all gonna take a little bit okay now we have the meshes let's save in case something crashes so we don't have to do it again and now we can go to iron full body and open it in mesh morpher to wrap uh, around hana we have to go to create from mesh and select Hannah. Hannah full body, right? Uh, this approach works uh, if uh, both uh, skeletal meshes uh, are uh, on the same height, have uh, same uh, skeleton proportions, right? As you can see, uh, it is uh, perfectly aligned, with the exception that Hannah is overweight and Irene is uh, normal weight, right? So we need to enable the wrapper. You will uh, receive a message here that uh, the wrapper works uh, uh, best uh, if uh, you don't uh, do metahuman heads. I mean, for metahuman heads, just the heads, you can keep the wrapper disabled and it will have a different approach not, uh, by going through the standard wrapper, right? So I'm going to create a new morph target name, Hannah. Path. it's fine and uh, okay go to settings we have everything okay here just put the defaults we don't care about the rest the, uh, the other options were just experiments just keep the defaults and you're gonna be fine and I think this is it press ok It's gonna take a little bit. Okay, uh, the wrapping is uh, completed and now we can check it out. We open HANA FAT, morph target, and see what result uh, we got uh, on our skeletal mesh. It looks fine. I think we can uh, transfer this morph target to our actual skeletal meshes. 
we go to uh, copy we select the morph target go to copy and select iron face mesh and add another element and select iron f tall normal weight body we will copy this morph target to this skeletal mesh right it's automatically overwrite if uh, already exists and disable smooth iterations we don't need any smoothing and press ok Now uh, that the copied uh, morph targets, uh, that the morph targets are copied, we can test it out. We go to Irene and Hannah Fat. Open Hannah Fat. Double click on it, and that's it. And this is uh, Irene now uh, with uh, Hannah's uh, uh, shape. And uh, to to make sure that uh, when you animate this uh, morph target, uh, this uh, skeletal mesh, the eyes you can go to restore select eyes eyelashes all eye related components and you can hide unselected and just restore the eyes so they will be what Irene was originally having. So you won't face any problems with the uh, alignment or something like this, right? Just make sure you, you restore everything here. Maybe underneath a little bit. Yeah. And I think this is it, right? So after you fix this, you can uh, disable uh, visibility and see how it goes we have over overlapping uh, skin over the eyes but we can fix that as well we clear mass selection and we select the head shader right just decrease a little bit the brush size maybe a little no i think this is fine and just use restore exactly on the edge we want to bring this as close to original shape right otherwise we will have some problems when we animate the eyes right so i think this is kind of okay maybe here and now we can smooth the area so we won't have these uh, creases uh, around here, right? We will just pick smooth and just try to smooth it so it looks as better as you can, right? So I think this is this is okay. Just spend uh, as much time you want uh, with it so it's up to you how much time you want to invest and now save it's gonna take a little bit meanwhile let's check the body Irene Let's see how it looks. Okay, the body seems to be okay. We don't have to, to do anything around here. Just press save. And now open the Irene blueprint. okay to enable uh, these new morph targets we just created just uh, create a new custom event add custom event enable hannah 
select the body and the face as well. Set morph target. Uh, the name of the morph target was Hannah Fat. So we have that here. And we do the, the same for the face. So we will enable the morph target on both skeletal meshes. Right? Just save so you make sure everything goes uh, fine. And call enable Hannah on begin play. So the morph targets will be enabled on begin play, right? And go to construction script and call it as well here, enable hand. This will make sure that the morph, target, uh, morph targets are enabled in editor as well. So we can uh, see uh, in editor what we just created, right? So this is uh, Irene, fat uh, Irene. Let me do a little bit of Okay, so this is how she looks. The eyes you can see are uh, are fine, and uh, yeah, this is it. So let me know, guys, the, uh, what do you think about the wrapper functionality, and uh, see you around. Bye.